Let's play. Oui. Napoléon. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third time. The stakes are as high as Yes. 
twice about getting a job there. I saw that Miller, the head mechanic, argue fiercely with one of the other mechanics. I'm not sure what it was about, but from the looks of it, Kronstadt is now a plot mechanic short. But that's perfect. This could be my big chance, man. I want to get out of this race martial business and into actual mechanics. Imagine being part of one of the pit stops with Sierra in the car. But of course, they might not have been. Yeah. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. You'd need to blend in well and not get busted in there. Small place. Maybe just apply for a job through their regular channels. Now the key here is tire management. I mean, if you're not careful, newcomers you can burn these tires off after 10 laps. You that this it's is a huge deal to manage that in this heat. It's and all about will to locate great distance. Your efficiency is reliability. That's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology of tomorrow. Just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance races. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. There is still plenty of time left, folks, and anything can happen. I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning Look that if things the didn't change, Look I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Cars Half an hour later, I have listened to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the road cage interferes with the radio today. signals it's from Sierra Sue. It's something very no special. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. I'll tell you what, it's better to double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. For newcomers to endurance racing, let me remind you that this is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability, that's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology of tomorrow. Diaz came in third last year on this track. He'd want to do better this time around, and I wouldn't be too surprised to see him on the podium. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving rather than that last lap before the accident. Do you think anyone, you know, helped make the accident happen? Wouldn't be the first time during these races. 
Remember two years ago when that driver for Mr. Europe? Wow. Hey, what the hell? Who threw that? Grace told me over beers last night. Also told me how Sierra had blown a fuse when Grace refused to comply. Apparently, they reached some sort of a compromise, though. Now, I would not want to drive that car. Any major crash, and you're not walking away from that. I couldn't agree more. Slip wrench you got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Target down. Next up, Robert Moose. What the hell just happened? Sierra! Lord <laughs> Zenu, protect me! Hi there. Want a ticket? VIP. This is the real deal. No forgery. This will get you access to see all your favorite stars up close. Yeah, you could be sitting back and sipping and my shirt from our sleeve. sponsors, Ten Guardian minutes. Tires, because well, come you're find me in the driver's seat. Don't, Don't settle, settle for second best. Guardian Tires. some sort of vitamin hydration boost, normally reserved for the drivers. Fixed me right up. What, like doping? No, it's for after the racing's done. 
Although it did kind of look like the Tour de France was there. Jim, it's me. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but, uh... It's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I worked near here, I ate lunch here every day. But Robert Knox? He's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him yesterday. He talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, Sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. cook without it, can I now? Dressed as what? Speak up, woman. around. Once the word spreads, Knox won't be long.
47, Robert Knox is on the move. If I'm not mistaken, he's heading down to the Bayside food stand selling coconut balls. is enough to trigger a massive rush of dopamine. I don't know what he's putting in his food, but I've sure got the munchies. Hello. Can I tempt you with a little snack? So, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. Mmm. What the hell? Both targets They're down. Coming. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And, and you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, K-12, 
KGB. Plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 